Health literacy research requires unique methods that will enable measurement of the study population's ability to access, understand, appraise, and apply health-related information. This often involves answering questionnaires and conducting interviews using paper and pen which can be cumbersome for researchers. Fortunately, there are ways to carry out efficient research methods that require face-to-face -face interaction without using paper and pen, and in some cases, without even the need to go to distant study sites. Thanks to the latest information technology, innovative data collection methods have been developed. Among them is a computer-assisted personal interview or CAPI, a technique being used in the ongoing National Health Literacy Survey or NHLS currently being implemented by the Asian Health Literacy Association Country Office in the Philippines based at the University of the Philippines College of Public Health with financial support from the Department of Health managed by the Philippine Council for Health Research and Development. CAPI involves reading survey questions aloud to participants via a computer or mobile device and entering responses directly into a survey application using a computer. Considered an evolution from the conventional paper-based interviews, CAPI's maintain the interviewer presence that helps the interviewee accomplish the questionnaire if ever there are any points for clarification. This also helps ensure completion of the questionnaire. To submit data gathered from the CAPIs, the interviewers themselves submit the responses to a survey application which can generate analytics on demand for interpretation and inclusion in research. In the event where internet connection is not accessible, the interviewers can enter responses using an offline survey form which will be directly submitted in the advent of internet access. Furthermore, hard copies of the questionnaire will be used during data collection in case technical problems arise. A successful CAPI will require the development of appropriate information technology tools and software, an interviewer quality control protocol, the data cleaning and processing protocol. CAPI has these advantages. CAPIs are versatile, providing the opportunity to interview more people, even those who cannot answer a self-administered questionnaire. It can also reliably and efficiently elicit data for studies on sensitive topics. CAPIs are precise. Interviewers can make sure of data quality at the point of data entry by reducing errors in encoding, which is common in paper and pen method when transferring responses from paper to computer. This process is no longer necessary in CAPI. CAPIs are cost efficient. There are minimal to no costs to be incurred for printing, transport, and distribution of the questionnaires to the study sites. CAPIs are time efficient, saving time ordinarily spent in travel to study sites and recording responses using paper and pen. CAPIs take advantage of the latest technology. These can be administered using tablets and other mobile devices. Meanwhile, CAPI is limited by individual device issues that may affect data collection such as defective audio equipment. In multi-country studies carried out for topics such as dietary habits and sensitive ones like sexual behavior, CAPI has been shown to save time in data encoding in comparison to self-interview tools. Furthermore, these studies show that CAPI elicits more consistent responses and allow for prompt feedback after the interview. Because these advantages generally outweigh its drawbacks, CAPI is a promising method for efficiently carrying out research in health literacy. As information technology continues to evolve, CAPI is expected to be an important data collection method for health literacy and other topics for years to come.